back. It happens. Go for it. Anyway, yes, I've still been doing the spinner. This very bright look with this very beige outfit is thanks to Profusion Banging Pinks. And since the spinner picked me a monochrome palette with only six choices, I asked for a second palette. And it gave me the C color Glamour, which is a 14 pan that looks like this. And that's how I got this. I can't wait till I get my new camera. I have found a new webcam that I want. 150 bucks, but yeah, it's got. You can set things like white balance and all that on the webcam. You don't have to wait for the editor. <laughs> and it has a remote control so I can zoom in and out all I want. This little webcam that I've got here, yeah, not so much. Anyway, I was watching Will Venus earlier today and he mentioned that there was a random question generator and I went and looked it up. Now literally you can act, tell it what number of questions you want it generates questions, brings them up in a list, and you can just read them and answer them. And I think that's kind of fun. So we're going to see how this tag works out. And that is, what were you most afraid of when you were younger? Do you still have that fear? What was I most afraid of when I was younger? Being completely alone. I was never good at being completely alone. Even if there's somebody in the house, as long as I know there's somebody there, I can be completely alone in another part of the house. I just have a problem if it's just me and, and the dust bunnies. Yes, I still have that fear. As a matter of fact, with the social anxiety issues, it's a little worse for wear. Let's see. Next question. At what age did you think you be you become at what age do you think you become an adult and when do you actually think you did? <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Um technically I would say about 25 because I actually started thinking about taking responsibility and if you hear the yelling from down the hall that's just my son trying to get his dinner done while while the kids and the puppy dogs are having generous fits. Um, I'm still not sure I really am an adult. I mean yeah, I understand the idea of responsibility. However, I'm not real good at always doing it, you know. This is iced tea. Yes, there's no ice in it because it melted. This is iced tea. Let's see. Next one. Have you ever had or witnessed a drop the mic moment? I have a long history of having attended science fiction and fantasy fans conventions. So witness them? Bunches. However, one of my favorite drop the mic moments of my own, I was working a security shift for a convention 
and there was a guy running around in what he called a costume. It was two thick panels of very stiff leather hung from a leather thong tied around his waist. Now these panels were very long. They were definitely long enough to cover what was necessary. However, because they were very long and very stiff, he had a bad habit of kind of kicking forward a little bit so that the front panel instead of laying to keep him relatively publicly modest enough to keep the cops out he would kick it and everything would show for that brief flash and we got a couple of the other security people we kind of cornered him a little bit near our security station and the guys were going look you gotta go put something on and the guy was tr the, the 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 flasher was trying to argue the point at which point i got up from where I was sitting keeping a listen on the radios in case anything else was going on and I walked over and rather loudly said I don't see the problem Mr. Flasher started to grin and I said just slap a spot band-aid over it it ain't no big thing We never saw him flashing anything the rest of the convention. And all of the guys who had been standing around when I said this were walking around with their knees clamped together. I believe that qualifies as a mic drop. Because I just turned around and went right back to my to my station. You let me know what you think. Let's see. If you had to choose, would you rather be too hot or too cold? Too cold, I can always put on more clothes. If I get too hot, I start getting nauseous and throw up. And then I stop being able to think coherently. I have a real problem with heat. Um, next, what have you recently felt grateful for. Modern medicine. Believe me, modern medicine. For way more reasons than I want to list off here. If you've been watching for any length of time, you already know a bunch of them. Let's see. What was the best thing you learned in the past year? Uh... I don't know about the best thing. I know I learned that no matter how much you're trying to help somebody, some of them just can't wrap their heads around it and won't take the assist. Um, uh, uh, I don't know. I'd have to have had time to think on that one long before this because the best thing nothing is really standing out how would you describe someone who is wealthy usually more money than good sense um, 
because they buy stupid things like rocket trips. We have people that are starving and people without housing and these guys are buying rocket trips. I'm not impressed. Um, what will, will be your go-to story when you are old? What will be your go-to story when you are old? Probably going to college at my age and doing really fairly well at it at my age. Um, just to remind people that you don't have to give up until they close the lid on the box. What is your famous person story? Believe it or not, I actually have several. That's another one of those. I used to go to science fiction conventions. I've met famous authors. I've met TV stars, I've met movie stars. It's not such a big deal. I mean, there are people, mostly. There are a few of them I could do without. But for the most part, they're people and they just want to be treated like people. I can't think of anybody that really stands out that much. I mean, most of the authors that I have met, I was too busy, you know, quizzing them at panels about <laughs> writing books. Um, what food combination do you eat that makes others cringe? I have no idea. Oh, I know what it is. <laughs> Had it for dinner last night. Liver and onions. Other people will scream and run. I used to scream and run because when my mom made it, it was a slice of shoe leather with some burnt onions. My mother was not a great cook. My husband is an excellent cook and yes you have to cook organ meat thoroughly but you do not have to bring it to the point of ashes. Yes, yes, yes. Let's see. Is it better to read books in electronic form or actually hold the book? I am fiercely addicted to the old book smell of real books. That smell that's kind of like vanilla. And that's because as the paper gets older, it starts to give off the volatile oils that were part of the, the wood and the processing materials. And it, it's ba it basically smells like vanilla absolute. It is amazing. However, because of my arthritis and my neuropathy pain, I am only able to hold books, real books, for limited amounts of time. So if I'm settling in for a long read, I have a Kindle. And I have a Kindle that if I'm reading in bed, I have this little stand thing that attaches to the side of the bed and holds the Kindle so I don't have to try and keep my arms in a position that hurts. Read, reading a book, I really prefer and would, will always prefer to be able to hold the book. Necessity makes it different. 
Let's see, what's the most difficult choice you were asked to make? <laughs> um, asked to make? I'm not sure I had that many that I was asked to make. Forced to make? Required to make? Um, the most difficult choice that I've been asked to make Probably to go against my sister's wishes when she tried to keep my father on resuscitation in his last days. He was diabetic. Diabetic for a long time. His kidneys had stopped functioning. If you've ever dealt with end-stage renal failure, you know it's not pretty. My sister was not ready to let go. My dad really needed to let go. He had, was going, basically had issues of psychosis brought on by the toxins in his bloodstream because his kidneys did not function. It was time. But that one was more, it wasn't asked to make. I had to. And in, the, in that case, me being the older of the siblings, the hospital staff took my wishes in slightly more weight than my sister's. Ah, da 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 da. Let's see. Do you believe that money can make you happy? Make me happy? Uh, not really, because if you're not happy, you're not happy. However, I could definitely find a way to suffer in a better part of town. Maybe with a few more pallets. Maybe with a car that runs, please. So, yeah, you know, it won't make me, it can't make me happy. But it can definitely change the circumstances in which I am unhappy. <laughs> It could relieve the circumstance of being unhappy about not having a working car. Uh, but that's about it. I mean, we have a good house, roof don't leak, all the utilities work, had to replace the stove, but that's okay. Had to replace the refrigerator. That's okay. We have food in the house. We have a way to store it and cook it. The town we're in has some public transportation. Um, most of the bills are paid on time. Some of them get a little scoochy. But yeah, a little extra money would make me a little happier because I, on our current budget, I can't afford a car payment. So, anyway, what is your opinion on social media? Oh my God, social media. There are too many people 
who have gotten on social media and have somehow forgotten there are real people on the other side of that screen so that they don't think it matters if they just like throw vile things at these people because nobody can see them and it's like What in the world was your raisin like, kid? You know, come here so I can wash your mouth and your keyboard out with soap. There are some people who get on the social media and just want to tear someone else down. And that's very upsetting. However, it's kept me in contact with people over this pandemic thing. It's kept me in school because this is how I do my classes. Um, it's provided my research network because I couldn't get to the library. It lets me talk to you guys. Yeah, I, I, for the most part, I'm pretty good with the social media. Like I said, some of it is just like, what the hell were people thinking? But there you go. Last question, aren't you happy? Last question, what do you find extremely difficult that most people find simple? how many people really find functioning simple but I have to at this point in my tiny life I have to pretty much overthink everything I'm going to do I have to think before I pick up a glass to make sure that I've got my hand actually engaged and it feels like it will hold. Um, same thing with standing up. I have to make sure I can feel enough of my legs that I can stand up without being in danger of falling over immediately because I've got them in a bad place or got my foot twisted or something like that. Um, it's interesting. The farther this goes, the worse it kind of gets. Um, Like I said, it, I've got so many things that I have to keep track of just to get up from my chair and go to the other room that it makes it hard to, to even consider how other people can do it without actually thinking about it. Like I used to be able to do. It's very weird. Very weird. Anyway. And no, that's not all diabetic neuropathy. Some of it is some other things that the doctors are still arguing about what it is. The only thing they're sure of is it's an autoimmune issue. 
anyway, I'm going to do what Will asked, which is to tag Will, and I'm going to, going to say to anybody else who thinks this is kind of fun, I'm going to put the random generator down in the description. Go to the random generator. There's actually random generators of bunches of different types under the list of questions on the random generator. There's all kinds of random generator stuff. The word generator, noun generator, synonym generator, verb generator, name generator, adjective generator, sentence generator, phrase generator. That could be so much fun for writers. Random paragraph, weird words, fake words, random letters, cursive letters. There's a huge list of randoms. And they've got three that are listed as new at the very bottom. And there's, there's actually a break between the random phrase generator and the random paragraph. There's kind of a block that looks like it probably was supposed to have a picture or something. <coughs> Excuse me. Hashtags. But the three at the bottom are random things to draw. And then there's random coloring pages. And then there's random tongue twisters. I don't need tongue twisters. I twist my, my tongue up all by itself on too many occasions. Ooh, truth or dare questions. Decision makers, breakfast ideas, oracle. Motivational quotes. Very cool. I don't know who came up with this, but it's great. Anyway, if you decide to do the random questions, and you can tell it how many questions you want to do, it'll let you pick. Um, tag me if you do it. Tag Will if you do it. And have fun with it. You can actually hit the generate random questions a couple of different times if some of the stuff that comes up is something you don't want to answer. Of course, you don't actually have to tell anybody what the questions are. You can skip one if it's really one that you don't want to discuss. <laughs> anyway. Be good. Stay out of trouble. I still do not have bail. If I can't buy a car, I do not have bail money. Bye.